Hello my friends and welcome back. It is episode 116. Let's talk to old Winterscale. A nice walk that, wasn't it, Edmund? You may have helped with us You may have helped us navigate the Living Forest's clutches, but don't let it go to your head. I would have managed by myself sooner or later. One day you too will grow sick of all the talking. Oh, Tell me about it. <laughs> and then you two will choose shooting Xenos on a wild planet over endless intrigue. Fine, we have plenty of time, so be it. I will give you a private audience. If dear Corda knew how close-knit we had become, she would surely have branded us conspirators. You care about him that much new blood? Go ahead then, try and convince me that the vile Xeno scum deserve the mercy of Caligos Winterscale, but remember, you only get one chance to try. If I did, Edmund, the price would be steep. I have more than enough money and power. I need time to consider your offer. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Wait around a couple of decades, new blood, and let others get used to you. It's not often that we have a fresh new rogue trader in our circle. Avoid Kraken, mate, them both for all I care. Acting as if their war on heresy in the expanse is just starting. Ha, I've been living it for decades. Don't need an inquisitorial preacher, and I certainly don't need Incentia's goodwill. Tell me about this planet. Your inquiries are curious to be sure. Temer is a planet with a rather dreary backstory. A long time ago, it supplied my great grandfather with tons of succulent fruits and thousands of cargo containers filled with special building fiber. Processed from the local forests, the population all lived in large cities safe distance away from the tangled paths and trees. Then this quiet life was dashed by Xenos raids. They burned down the cities and shackled our people faster than our ships could help. In the end, the local governor ran away, leaving the remaining people at the beast's mercy, and the people in turn fled to the big cities that attracted the Xenos. And that's how the forests that the rabble feared became their salvation, and the planet fell into decay. There was no one to populate the cities, and there was no one to extract the resources. Temer expected three new arcs filled with settlers to arrive from the Imperium. But in 500 years, not one of them has reached the expense. Do not turn your gaze to me, Alantar. It was not my kin who desolated this world. The forests of Temer are not like the jungles of Kachin, new blood. The only thing that could kill you here is your own stupidity or an unfortunate coincidence in the form of a stray Xenos or a rare predator. Rainwater for breakfast, nutritious larvae for lunch, fermented fruit in the place of wine for supper. One could not wish for better hunt hunting grounds. I have noticed that your people look utterly woe-begone while you do not have a single scratch on you. That means my people are weaklings, and I shall change that soon. As for me, I've been of stout constitution since the day I was born. You look like a psycho. <laughs> At first, he shrugs his shoulders indifferently, but after a closer look at his companions, he raises his brows in surprise. It seems like the rogue trader just realized the validity of your words. The old man was a weakling, and that is why he is dead. That's what happens when you can no longer fulfill your duty to your master. Many fine warriors have perished on this hunt. I raise a toast to their name where you can. Okay, I guess I just select this. It is about time indeed. It may take several while to find their trail, but Wharton Hare has a keen eye, and a sense of smell can rival any old dog. We will do just fine. Especially with the forest being on our side now. Let's go and try not to fall behind.
keep your wits about you. Okay. Why blow this Do door up prevails. when you could just go through the window? It's so funny to me. It's like you blew this door up, which looks to be in good condition. Is there money to be you made? Could have just gone through this broken window. Ah, oh, there they are. The Farseers instructed me to send you away, monkey. However, I recently stopped me stopped meekly heeding their counsel, and besides, my sister is among you. I am curious to hear what the out the outcasts' tidings. Vain rhetoric, a masterful display. Your temper, brother mine, you ought to quell. Bravado has no place within this play. Indeed, the merchants proved all this all too well. This actor excellent who did alight upon the stage will now this piece complete by choosing a finale opposite who shall survive and who shall who their doom shall meet. I do not know about you, Edmund, but these Xenos Masters are giving me the creeps. This one, in the motley, I want to kill him now. Looking around the camp, despite their affected ease, most of the Xenos are pushing themselves to their limit. They are exhausted, nervous, and frightened, even if they hide it well. They may This may have eluded your companions, but not you. With embers glowing cupped in my two hands, I bear them through the deluge to the hearth. He's been accompanying the surviving Eldari for a while now. It's not clear what hearth he's talking about. Perhaps he's managed to find them a new home. A tapestry complex is peace and one that many threads demand for warp and weft for this design three wills together spun it is greed its greed will sate in the hands of weaver deft the gruesome scars of the past distrust bewailed the compact subtle gauze shall now be veiled playing with your prey like a cat fine you blood you are still young just remember this patience is not my strong suit do not think we have anything to discuss either monkey the deeds of your kin have spoken louder than worlds my home my family my people my kudarak everything is gone because of you Your ship is destroyed, Kudara is lost, and so are the Farseers. You sacrificed everything to attack this world. Why? Your brothers and sisters are exhausted, you are trapped, and I am the only person who can change that. You may be discerning, Monkey, but only half of what you say is true. We did not attack this world. The last of Kudara's children assembled once more to scour the master of flesh, Tavantius, from the memory of the universe, the homunculus who abducted and tortured the Farseers from our craft world. We learn that he is hiding on this world, but something prevents our Farseers from discovering his lair. So we were forced to act decisively. Act decisively, you Ashmags. You call mowing down two-thirds of the world's population acting decisively. The Master of Flesh from Com Comorar. He is here. We must destroy him. This is what we're here for, Outcast. Stretch out your hand, grasp the Spear of Vengeance together with us, and plunge it into the dark heart of the Architect of Torment. Called purging an entire world a decisive action, our far seers, the one we managed to save, could not 
Name the exact location of the Master of Flesh. Even after our ships circled the world for a third time, something prevented them from seeing the truth. Something powerful. Knew your patrols would soon discover our presence, and so we decided to do something else. To exterminate the homunculus along with the world he had chosen as his refuge. The monkey are flooding the galaxy at the speed of a meteor shower, and this world will repopulate eventually. Is a single world not worth eliminating a powerful enemy? Enemy who threatens hundreds of such worlds, both yours and those of my king. <coughs> what do the Xenos and the fanatical zealots of the Imperium have in common? The answer is simple. Both are willing to sacrifice billions of their subjects. Winter scale meaningfully raises an eyebrow and you still deem him worthy of conversation? Tell me about the honkiness, where is he? Not say a word until you let my kin depart this world. You lost your world and you're now depriving others of theirs out of vengeance. Why do you think you are different? How dare you compare a dragon to a lizard, starlight to a dim glow of a guttering, of a guttering candle. Make no mistake about your inferior species, a single child of a Syrian is worth thousands of your kind. Do you think your kin are still worth saving? I never doubted it. To you, the deeds of my kin may appear cruel or even criminal. Spending enough time on the monkey granted me clarity of vision. Sometimes you treat your own kind even worse in pursuit of baser goals or personal gain. Monkey loss is a threat to both our species. You know what his dark heart and perverted mind are capable of. Tavares must be destroyed. My kin have taken on the role of a vengeful blade. I do not support the methods of the Xenos, but I understand their motives. Perhaps they could pay you compensation. Even I wanted to pay you off, we lost the wealth of Kudar along with the craft world itself. Bargain for my life with a monkey, I'd rather go to the Eternal Night. That can be arranged, Xenos. The only compensation I accept is blood. You cannot kill them. What? Why? Let's commerce them. You no longer see the profit beyond the thrill of the hunt. You and the Xenos can help one another. There has been less good hunting to be had in the expense since your arrival in Newton Blood. If the Xenos hold useful information about the distant stars, that is a reason to consider your offer. Throne take you and all the misfortunes of the galaxy along with you. I must confess that all this dismal talk has given me a migraine and made my old wounds ache. So you want to save these Xenos? Suit yourself. By my grace, I entrust you with the lives of the enemies of humanity. Have fun. We should be heading back now. What kind of hunting is it when the prey does not even struggle in your grasp? I'm disappointed. And don't you think I am going to forget about your words and promises, Edmund? We shall revisit that later. I know how difficult it is to go against the will of your kin, yet I cannot hide my joy that we both lived through this moment and emerged with a tale to tell. After all the suffering the monkey have inflicted upon the children of Kudra, after all the punishment we have inflicted upon this world, my heart remains troubled knowing that we have only tempered our grudges for a time and have parted without bloodshed today. However, I dare not complain for my kin. The hour of triumph has arrived at last. Once the master of flesh is no more, we can go to the edge of this stellar expanse away from the gaze of the monkey and peacefully await the arrival of our kin from distant stars. What are you talking about? Shariarenkai. Outcast you, I've got some good news for you. Our farseers managed to contact the children of the craft world Alatok and will soon and soon your fellow outcasts will visit 
the part of the galaxy that the monkey called the expense. They will take us away and give us a new home and... Is that what an adherent of the path of the warrior wishes to tell me? Were these words meant to comfort my heart? O oh, Asuran, your children once again seek to appease their pride by sending their kin to monkey worlds to find nothing but blood and death. The Farseers mistake Doom Kudarak, Sharankai, Shah and their excessive cruelty and thirst for vengeance almost doomed those of us who managed to survive against all odds in the void between foreign stars. You know it just as well as I do. But you continue to do their bidding. Oh, Shar- I just- <laughs> These names, man! My god! It's more difficult than the game! You could take the webway gate and go away from the dangers and tribulations of the Expanse. You have chosen to stay here instead. You are dying. You are feuding with the monkey. Have not the children of Assyrians split en spilt enough blood? Is it not enough that we have lost our home? Why do you wish to expose even more of your kin to mortal peril? It is it's too late to change anything. The deed is done, their will carried out. The outcasts from Alatok will come to the local stars and we will leave with them. Do not sign up for yet another war against the Xenos and the Expense. Call off your kin. Our farseers paid an insurmountable price to contact a craft world located billions of stars away from here, and many of them perished to give the rest of us a chance to be rescued. I will not jeopardize the lives of those who yet remain. May Assyrians save us from this woe. No, I will not allow another world to perish at the hands of the monkey, even if this means forsaking my soul. And I am not going to reveal all the secrets of my kind to you, Mon... Ellen Tuck. You may have helped us in our hour of need, but I trusted you at the outcast's behest. But I will say this, the warriors of Alan Tok are coming here to your stars. This is an unalterable truth. It will take the warriors of Alan Tok many years to discover the webway gate capable of bringing their strike force to the expanse. Perhaps you will be too old by then, and only your... On your deathbed will you hear the news. The children of Syrian have come to exact their vengeance. Worry not, Elantak. It's my turn to rescue you and your people. Rescue me how? During my exile, I met many companions who temporarily joined me on my endless travels. One such companion was a fellow outcast who had already completed many paths. It was he who told me about the Ritual of Unity, a great opportunity for one spirit to reach out and touch the infinity circuit of the craft world known to the Farseers who perform it. Sharon Kay said that this Kudarak Farseers have already contacted and I talk that means this means this means I can too. Did the darkness of space drive you mad during your exile, sister? Even those who walk the path of the seer balk at joining souls with the ancestors inside the circuit. They are wise and know that the ritual is perilous to the spirit. Your chances of success are simply non-existent. You would die without achieving anything. And even if you did not die immediately, ask yourself honestly, why should the ancestors listen to a simple outcast? As you said, allied talk is the world of my fellow outcasts. They would not wish harm upon me, which gives wings to my hope. Look me in the eye. Do you wish to end the suffering of our kin? I can see the answer in your heart. You must accept it and help me. The Expanse has been through hard times of late. We do not need trouble with the Eldari, now or in the future. Unless the warriors of Alantok arrive in this part of the galaxy, sons and daughters of Kudarak will perish among the worlds of the monkey. Is that the fate you wish for us? We'll have to find another way. I understand it's not easy for those who have lived all their lives sheltered within the craft world to accept that sometimes life leads us down different paths, but the path you and the Farseers have chosen leads only to more pain. More pain? Did you manage to prevent the death of our kin and Murderine on Lilithen? 
Albion told me everything that happened. Let her handle it. With words alone, fate cannot be constrained, but deeds add weight behind the world's cutting edge. Behold the cup of strife and vengeance drained, bitter wine of grief drunk to the dregs. Outcast cries set to fly beyond the frozen light of clusters long forgot. And to her will in tribute might respond the seers of the path with bridge overwrought. Not you too, Arbinin. So be it, we will give the outcast a chance, but I doubt she will survive even the beginning of the ritual. May Syrian forgive his children. Fetch the Farseers. Tell them that the outcast wishes to perform the witch rule. We will ma wait for them here. Witch roll. A strange energy permeated the clearing where the paths of humans and Aldari happened to cross is gradually dissipating. All eyes turned to Yurlit. The Aldari who managed to survive the deadly ritual and who awoke looking pensive and enlightened. You survived? Asurian showed you mercy, outcast, and so did our ancestors from the Alan Tok Infinity Circuit. Tell me, sister, what was their answer? I am tired of the Farseer's blindness and my kin's hatred. All of the choices our people of our people led only to suffering and the loss of our loved ones. I no longer wish to be an accomplice to another's hatred and pay for the mistakes of those who were supposed to guide us towards light but who led us to oblivion. Convince my kin to divert the river of their anger. The ranks of the outcasts will arrive in the expanse unseen and unheard. Not for the sake of war, they will find and take away those who remain, the last sons and daughters of Kudarak, and then they will depart the, the monkey stars without leaving a trace forever. Your brothers and sisters would not dare ask you for more. I understand your choice, even if my spirit cannot fully accept it. I am fine, Ellen Tark. Thanks to you, I finally reached the end of my path, this path, and I am grateful I had you to walk alongside me. After the Master of Flesh has been dealt with, we will go home as soon as possible. Haha, <laughs> there's a commerce here! <laughs> Gratitude of the children of Surin is to your kind is as precious a reward in itself, but I've been observing your kind for a while now. As a gesture of goodwill, I suppose I should reward your labors in a fashion more customary among the monkey. Ooh, it's nice. It's my first and probably last gift to one of you, Ellen Tart. May it serve you faithfully as it served the children of Assyrian. I do not think this is possible. Our temporary alliance will have run its course as soon as the ships of my kin leave the expanse. For I hope to never return here. You still hope to find the homunculus. The farseers could not divine where the master of flesh makes his lair, for an unknown force is hiding him from the penetrating gaze of the wise ones. The children of Syrian have never encountered anything like this before, having circled the world several times and failed in our search. We venture to unleash our pent-up fury on the planet and hope that we would be graced with a fortunate accident. Alas, the fate of the Master of Flesh remained unchanged. Farseers could feel the beating of his black heart, but were powerless to do anything. It's when our rangers began to deduce the coordinates of his lair based on readings of the Wise Ones and lands untouched by our fired weapons. And they would have succeeded had the monkey not attacked our fleet. Share information I have gathered for hope that even a Master of Flesh will not be able to elude two pursuers at once. I would be lying if I said I had not thought about it, but you have felt me and my kin all this time to the best of your ability. Should I not repay you you in kind, Ellen Tark? I will not stand in your way if you genuinely wish to stay with your kin. I think I will return to them someday, but our paths are too tightly interwoven for them to end here. We will search the part of the world where the local star sets. You should go where the star awakens. Good hunting to you. That Veil Degradation token is quite nice. You 
can just replace something that's not that useful. Like that. BS bonus divided by 3. So 8 divided by 3. That's like 2.5. Does it work on sniper rifles? I don't know. I highly... is beneath me. No, oh, incorrect armament. I don't think I've got a better sniper rifle than this one. I refuse. What? Oh, it goes here, sorry. Plus one rate of fire bonus for any burst weapon. Wait, let me try this again. Rate of fire three. Let's see. Let's see if it shoots multiple shots. I always have a backup plan. Because that would be pretty amazing for a sniper rifle. Where do I go? Ugh, where do I go?
Okay, that's Keep why that was blocked off. You. Okay, so I guess I have to go back to my ship. I never went this way. Always keep your eye on the prize. You trust me. I always keep my options open. Can't go that way. To the Von Valencius shuttle. There we go. Solved it. And we're out of here. Except we'll be back in a minute to kill old Fleshbag. Okay. That is it for now, because we are out of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.